All right, guys, let's get into it. Proverbs 17 is what we're going to be in today. Let's pray. Father God, I want to come before you again, Lord, and I just want to thank you for waking me up today, Lord. I want to thank you for the work that you continue to perform in my life and in my heart, Lord. You have showed me what true joy is, Lord. Help me to share that with others. Help me to say what you would want me to say today, Lord, to convey the message that you would want conveyed, Lord, to the hearts out there that need to hear it, Lord. We're your children, and we want to hunger only for your world, or only for your word, Lord. Let us die to this world, and let us live for you and you alone. Help us to be beacons to those around us in these times of struggle and strife. Help us, help us to be that light that can't be contained, Lord. To be that city on the hill that you talk about. In your sweet and heavenly name, we pray. Amen. Amen, guys. Love you guys. Thank you for joining me again today. Let's get into it. Proverbs 17. <clears throat> Better is a dry morsel with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife. A wise servant will rule over a son who causes shame and will share an inheritance among the brothers. The refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the hearts. An evildoer gives heed to false lips and a liar listens eagerly to a spiteful tongue. He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. He who is glad at calamity will not go unpunished. It will not, guys. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children is their father. Excellent speech is not becoming to a fool, much less lying lips to a prince. A present is a precious stone in the eyes of its possessor. Wherever he turns, he prospers. He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates friends. Rebuke is more effective for a wise man than a hundred blows on a fool. An evil man seeks only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. Whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. I'm going to read that one again, guys. The beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Why is there in the hand of a fool the purchase price of wisdom since he has no heart for it? A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man devoid of understanding shakes hands in a pledge and becomes surety for his friend. He who loves transgression seeks strife, and he who exalts his gate seeks destruction. He who has a deceitful heart finds no good, and he who has a perverse tongue falls into evil. He who begets a scoffer does not sow to his sorrow. He who begets a scoffer does sow to his sorrow. And the father of a fool has no joy. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a, spirit, but a broken spirit dries the bones. A wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. Wisdom is in the sight of him who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father, a bitterness to her who bore him. Also, to punish the righteous is not good, nor to strike princes for their uprightness. He who has knowledge spare his words, and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. When he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. Awesome, guys. Thank you guys for joining me again today. Thank you for letting me share with you guys. God is great, isn't he? I mean, no matter what's going on, God is great, man. 17.1. Better is a dry morsel with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife. Harmony can exist without lavish provisions, guys. You know, I know I grew up poor. I didn't know it until later, you know, a lot of it. But but I'm sure most of you guys did. Most of the world didn't grow up wealthy. So we all know that that's true. Harmony can exist without lavish provisions. It's not what it's about. It's about the heart of giving. 17.3, guys. <clears throat> God, I love this verse. I love this verse, guys. The refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the hearts. This comparison indicates that the Lord uses our experience to improve or refine us, okay? The Lord's fire is a refining fire, though it's not a destructive fire. 
the poetic progression here from silver to gold to heart shows our hearts extreme value to the Lord, man. It's worth more than gold, guys. It's worth more than gold to him. It says that when a sinner comes back into the fold, there are 10,000 angels rejoicing in heaven over such a thing, man. You know? It's like the prodigal son story. It's just, man, we got so much value to him, guys. Let's mirror that with each other. Let's see the value in each other that he sees in us. Because he knows all the nasty we did. And look at the value he still puts on us. Look at the person around you, the people around you, and know that they have that kind of value. Know it for a fact. Because he knows it for a fact. He knows that we have that value. You know that you have that value. So you should know that everybody around you has that value too. Let's start valuing each other a little bit more, guys. 17.4 <clears throat> An evildoer gives heed to false lips. A liar listens eagerly to a spiteful tongue. Listening is a good thing, but here we see it is perverted when what is heard is then used in a foul manner for one's own personal gain. Okay? 17.6 <clears throat> Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children is their father. Okay? Parents are the most influential teachers of divine faith to their kids. And also, we see something interesting here because in Israel especially, it was extremely desirable to have more children because of the covenant relationship and the fact that those blessings were going to be, were going to be on to the later generation. So the, the more that you could have, the more blessing, you know. 1711, guys. An evil man seeks only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Ideally, government is given by God for society's preservation. On that note, rebellion can, however, be called for, guys, but that's up, to, that's up to us. We have to pray and we have to be sure of that because one must be sure for rebellion invites official retribution against such an attempt. Okay? 1716. Why is there in the hand of a fool the purchase price of wisdom since he has no heart for it? The fool can't overcome a lack of wisdom. By simply purchasing an education. It just doesn't work that way, guys. 1727. He who has knowledge spares his words, and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Okay? The wise know to control their tongues. 1728. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. When he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. Okay? 1728 is a hypothetical extension of verse 27, where we see that the wise know how to control their tongues. And it shows us in verse 28 that the fool who maintains silence at the appropriate time shows that there is yet hope for him. He's not yet reprobate. There's still time. There's still time, guys. There's still time. There's still time for all of us. Right now. Right now there's still time. There might not be in a moment, but right now there is still time. So if you're not right with the Lord, I'm asking you to please get right with him. You know, and none of us are perfect, but that's not what it's about just about coming to that foot of that cross humbly and just admitting that you're you're just a person and you're messed up on your own and that that you know that you don't deserve heaven for for what you've done for the life you've lived but that you know that Jesus is the son of God and he's going to forgive us of those sins he can forgive us of those sins he can wipe those sins away from us man he separates them as far as the east from the west guys think about that just think about that. He separates them as far as the east from the west. He'll ever bring them back up. There ain't no fishing in that lake that he buries them in. Love you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Love somebody. Shout God's name. You guys are awesome.